QuickBooks Desktop 2024 Customer Prepayment Purchase Order Bill Invoice and Receive Payment Forms. Get ready and some coffee because we're locking into some non-stop QuickBooks Desktop 2024. Here we are in QuickBooks Desktop Sample Company file. We set up in a prior presentation using the Enterprise version of the QuickBooks Desktop software so we can practice using the unearned revenue new feature within it. Under the View tab, we've got the Hide icon bar selected, the Open Windows selected, Open Windows open on the left-hand side. Under the Company dropdown, we have the Home page open going into the reports so we can open the major financial statement reports like we do every time company and financial looking at that balance sheet standard report let's customize the report change that range from 010127 tab 123127 tab fonts and numbers change in the font to bring it up to 14 is that okay yes okay then then we're going to go to the reports drop down again company and financial this time the p the l the profit loss the income statement change the range this time from 010127 to let's go to 06327 and then i want to see this one on a month by month breakout month by month and then customize the reports fonts and numbers changing the font up to 14 and okay yes and okay so that's the setup process we do every time we've been running the multiple scenarios here the standard scenario in january then we did a couple scenarios with a negative ar february and march or, or march through uh, may and now we're running our new scenario here in june let's recap what we did thus far home tab we're looking at a situation where we're selling a large product in our case a surfboard a psychedelic surfboard because it's got a crazy airbrush on it and we want to then we made an estimate for it so we're imagining the customer came in wanted the surfboard we made the estimate and then we made a sales order which basically locks in the estimate that has been made and then we asked for a deposit because we're going to go up here and order the custom surfboard and we want to make sure this guy's locked into the sale so then we jumped over and received a payment skipping as the arrows are saying here the invoice so usually when we do that under the old method that would make a negative ar which would be okay from an internal reporting standpoint or bookkeeping standpoint but for external reporting purposes causes a problem because it should be a positive liability and so the new method quickbooks allows us to make a positive liability so let's just check that out balance sheet instead of making a negative accounts receivable over here it made another account down below and we called it customer deposit there is our 50 dollars when i look at the sub ledger reports under the reports drop down if i go to the receivables we now have two of them we need to track we're going to go to the customer balance detail this tracks the accounts receivable let's customize it let's make the fonts and numbers let's just bring it up to 12 let's not get crazy with the 14 yes and okay it's not here yet because it's under the it's a liability so we have another report now a sub ledger for the customers and receivables and this is going to be the open what did we call it open pre open prepayments there that is let's customize this report fonts and numbers change the font up to 12 as well and okay 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 then if i go into my customers drop down the customer center this is where our customers are hanging they're hanging out over here so there is our customer we could see that we made an estimate we had the sales order and then we got that payment we should now be able to apply that payment to the invoice which is what's going to happen next on the customer side but before we do that we have to actually buy the product so we're going to go over here and say we don't have it yet because it was a custom order we made a sales order now we want to make a purchase order from the sales order so that we can then go to our vendor and purchase the product all right so let's do that let's go back into the customer detail i think the easiest way to do that would be from the customer center we go into the uh, sales order and then i'm just going to say make a bill uh, a purchase order from it so create a purchase order so we're going to the purchasing side and it says create the purchase order for all allowed items that's what we want pull the whole thing in there there's just one thing 
and then this is going to be uh, what did we call it? Uh, customer prepayment vendor, which is a funny name for a vendor, but I'm just trying to say everything has that name so that we can tie it to this this scenario that we're running out. This is going to be 06, let's say 0427, tab, 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 tab. This is another internal document, not going to record anything. It's only for $100 because that's the cost of the surfboard, not the sales price, which was $175 and no sales tax is being applied here because we're going to apply the tax on the sales side. Internal documents that we could track in Excel. This is just going to be the PO or purchase order. Purchase order, no financial transaction happening. We track that internally. So I'm just going to save it and close it. Where do we track it internally? Closing this out. We track it not in the customer center, but in the vendor center. So we go to the vendor drop down, vendor center, and we could see there uh, where we can see it somewhere, somewhere, because I should have named the vendor's name with a four. So I could have seen it easier. What did I call it? Uh, customer prepayment. Uh, so I should have put a four. That's what I was doing before, but that's okay. Here's the uh, open purchase order. And then the next thing would be, we would have a bill that when we receive the surfboard. So let's do that. I'm going to double click on this and we would then, we could say, create a sales receipt. I'm just going to go directly to a bill. I'm going to close this out home page. And let's say now we're going to receive the inventory with a bill. So we, we got a box with a surfboard and it. it's got a psychedelic air breath that was ordered for and we want the uh, and it's got a bill with it. So this is going to be the customer. The vendor, what did I call it? I called the vendor customer prepayment vendor. And then it says there's an open purchase order. Do we want to add that? I'm paraphrasing. I'm going to say yes, we do. I would like to do that. QuickBooks, thank you for work asking this is going to be oh six let's make it oh seven two seven tab 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 there's the hundred dollars and there's the item down below now what's going to what's this going to do it's a bill and therefore it's going to increase the accounts payable that's what bills do it's going to increase the sub ledger for this vendor and